What's up Diablo 4 players, so today let's talk about the brand new uniques that just got leaked via the data mine from Wowhead. So let's go ahead and kick it off with one of the most exciting items, which is actually a helmet that is better than Harlequin for damage. So this is the crown of Lucian, and who is Lucian? That's another question, but we're checking out the stats here. So these are the brand new uniques coming out in season five. So um, these just got leaked over here. So anyways, it is going to be a, obviously it's a unique. So we got max life, which is pretty good. Then we have plus ranks to core skills. Remember Harlequin gives plus four, but we can't change that. If this rolls with a greater affix, and we master work it, we could actually get more than Harlequin just for this core skills. Now, keep in mind that's the core skills, not everything. And then we have a lucky hit chance, which is actually a very important stat in a lot of different builds now, so that's quite great. We also have maximum resource. Harlequin does give you resource gen, so I consider about the same ish. But then we have on top of that 75% resource cost reduction. Now, on top of that, each time you spend a primary resource on a skill, you get to gain increased damage, but you also have increased resource costs for four seconds, stacking up to five times. Now, the reason why this is so incredibly strong is, well, you just have to spend primary resource on any skill, not specifically the core skill. So what this could lead to is 100x increased damage for anything, right? Because it just says, just you get straight up increased damage, not increased core skill damage or increased skill damage that uses a resource. But uh, that would be really, really good. Now, obviously you'd have to weave one in every four seconds to make sure that stack does not fall off, but that could be still good for other builds that normally are still technically kind of based around um, some sort of like a lucky hit chance or something like that. So I think that this has instantly a lot of potential for some builds to actually replace the Harlequin for the crown of Lucian over here. Very, very good stuff. Next up though, we have another really good item. Uh, by the way, these are all for all, all classes. These aren't like, uh, you know, specific ones. There, there are gonna be specific ones in a second here. But on top of that, we have the uh, Endurant Faith, which is a brand new pair of gloves. They give you plus two to three core skills, lucky hit chance, some healing received, and some to all stats. Uh, it's more of a defensive uh, pair of gloves, but it says, when you would be damaged for at least 40% of your maximum life at once, it is instead distributed over the next four seconds and reduced by 10 to 30 uh, X. So that could be pretty dang good. This will really help uh, prevent maybe one shots, especially if your build already has some sort of healing. However, just as a note over here, uh, a lot of people are playing basic attack builds. So I really wish there was just plus ranks to all of the skills. That would be quite nice. Although you can get this greater affix and it won't really matter as much, but I think it would still be much better if it was just anything uh, because gloves normally don't have some sort of defensive thing. You can maybe throw in a utility one that could be argued that is defensive, but still a good item nonetheless for anyone that wants to prevent maybe some one shots. So I think that that is quite Quite great. Next up though, we have Lorcran's Talisman. So what does this have on it? This is an amulet. It's got 9% uh, attack speed, 42 all stats, got some good amount of crit strike damage. We also get maximum resource, which is quite great. And then you can gain um, anywhere from 0.10 uh, to 0.5 critical strike chance per point of primary resource. You have up to 10 to 50 percent so you get up to 50 percent critical strike chance which is pretty much going to guarantee 100 percent if you just kind of put some extra stuff into crit and then each point of primary resource above 100 grants one percent critical strike damage instead okay so that's pretty good because again you could run some sort of build that does not require you to actually spend any resources and then well you basically have 100 percent crit and that could be important for certain builds that have something actively off of a crit you also do lose out on the amulet's potential for like the extra damage so i'm not sure if i would consider this like at oh, all you got to play it every single thing the thing that i found the most interesting with this is it doesn't even roll crit on the item so Again, you would still have to get it in your rings, your gloves, maybe if you're playing some build that runs another unique, maybe you can get it there. I'm not sure if I would consider this like S tier OP, like like this thing like has potential to be best in slot. This one, uh, I really don't know because again, you lose out on the X multiplicative damage from an aspect that's also a 50% bonus. And there are a lot of builds where when you start min maxing the master working, you can get to 100% crit. And then as far as master working on here, well, I guess you could max, 
masterwork the crit strike damage. You can maybe run it in a precision rogue build. So there is some sort of niche option, but I, I like this item. Uh, like Crown Luzion is just definitely like way better. These ones they technically were already revealed. I'm just gonna brush over some of the stuff that we've already technically seen before. The these ones aren't leaked. They, they revealed these at the uh, like campfire. But anyways, uh, when you uh, cast a skill with a cooldown, you get to do some sort of like fire damage. It could still be actually pretty good for any uh, build variant uh, that can rely on this. And the thing that's really nice with this is it's not lucky hit. But this may be the first time we're seeing some of these effects uh, on this. And CDR is pretty good uh, for some of these items. And then we have the Shard of Varathiel. So it's a uh, sword over here. And remember, a lot of classes can now run all of the different things. So it'll work on a lot of different builds now. So uh, it has all stats, basic skills, basic attack speed. This is actually a really good stat. Uh, especially if you get this to be greater affix, it's going to be nice. And then you get some maximum resource. And then it says basic skills deal 100 to 300x increased damage, but additionally cost 25 primary resource. Now, this could be really good for certain builds. Uh, I mean, there's already so many good basic attack uh, builds. Now, what I'm really wondering is, will the skill not be able to be casted, like the basic skill, if you don't reach the resource requirements, right? Because normally with basic skills, they don't cost anything, so it doesn't matter. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I'm guessing that means you can't even use your basic skill. But uh, that could be very interesting to open up the doors for other builds, especially because you still have pain gorgers. You can still run uh, other things that may make this actually a really good item. Um, yeah, 300x is good. This is like the levels of what Bash Barbarian was getting. Uh, so that will open up the doors to so many new builds, which is cool. Now we have the Barbarian Uniques. These both were revealed. There's basically a third blade, which makes your weapon mastery skills count as um, core skills, which with death blow or even rupture, um, but they're going to cost resource now. This one was already revealed. Unbroken Chain is basically going to be used for like the 0.0.1% of like a support Barbarian, but these were both revealed. The Druid Uniques, these were technically both revealed. However, we did not know the stats of Bjorn things uh, as far as what it rolls and it actually rolled pretty good we have non-physical damage we have ranks to core skills and crit strike chance those are all really uh great stuff and then they get uh, endless tempest over here so uh, uh, with the exception of getting like, attack speed it's basically like almost best in slot here um but at cataclysm lightning strikes now prioritize enemies and then while cataclysm is active they actually buff this this was originally set to be 80 percent and now it is 100 percent increased damage and the whole goal with this is probably to be 100 percent uptime with cataclysm and again this was an update now this is the item that i think is going to make druid the best class in the entire game uh the basilisk as well as all the other buffs they made like landslide do i don't know it's like more than four times the damage and then they, they have it shoot out extras it's crazy but every single time that you activate a earth skill you get to have an ultimate the petrify is the ultimate uh you get to petrify them for three seconds and then you get a, a bonus damage so if you petrify them and you get like a crazy like crit multi and then on top of that, you just get like this flat damage. And the damage wasn't bad. I believe it was like about half as uh, Andariel's. And there's no lucky hit. This is every single time you attack, you get an ultimate. This is going to be insane, but this was already revealed. Now, as far as the Necromancer uniques over here, we have the Path of Tragul. Uh, so we have some ranks to bone skills, which is cool. And then we have bone prism cooldown. This is actually quite nice as uh, it's got a kind of a long cooldown. But uh, Bone Prism traps in a larger area and fires up to a certain run of projectiles. This actually got nerfed. I believe it originally said 35 Bone Splinters, but it doesn't really matter how many it shoots out. If it shoots outwards, it's kind of bad. If it shoots inwards, oh my gosh, this is absolutely godly and potentially one of the best Necromancer builds. But honestly, Necromancer, not looking too hot the next season. Um, I've already shown you guys gameplay of Mordecrux. If you guys haven't seen that, um, just check like my most recent videos. I have basically all of the different changes for every single class. This one was already revealed. It makes it so when you consume a corpse, there's a chance that a simulacrum uh, skeleton comes out and then explodes. It takes like seven seconds to explode. It's basically a skip. Uh, unless they fix that and make it so that the corpses automatically explode because they just stand around for seven seconds. It's too long. And this needs to be like 100%. The damage was actually really low for it too. Uh, then with the rogue uniques, we now see the uh, brand new chest armor, the Shroud of Condurus, which is going to grant you uh, extra movement speed after you evade. You get non-physical damage, which is actually quite cool. Um, and then you gain ranks to Dark Shroud, which is great. And then you actually have massive amount of Shadow Res. I mean, even at the lowest value, once you master work that, that's going to be crazy. And then casting Dark Shroud makes you immune for three seconds, but your evade cooldown is also getting increased, which kind of sucks because like you figure you'd want more evade, right? Uh, but uh, the main thing that you're here for is evading while Dark Shroud is active, leaves behind an explosion that deals some sort of damage and pulls enemies in. So if you can run some boots with uh, reduced... Uh 
uh, cooldown when you uh, attack, right? You can keep on spamming this and just start sucking in uh, things. So I think that that will be kind of cool. It depends how good this thing is. And we're going to get into some of the brand new aspects in a later video because I don't want to make this video too long because it's a massive leak update. And then we have Umber Crux, which we already went over. This is going to be one of the, the top tier things that I think in every rogue build. Being able to have a totem and the totem does all of the damage to enemies. So if you do any AoE, you do any sort of ricochet, your twisting blades are spinning around, uh, uh, on Dariel's activates. I think this is going to be the best in slot, and I think every single rogue build has to play this. It's a new automatic, if you don't play, your build sucks. Kind of like how, basically right now, if you don't play Caltrops, your build sucks. Um, and this is going to be an absolute must, in my personal opinion, for every single build, because the thing that is the, like, kind of the break point in terms of a good build in Diablo is how long is your boss kill time? And while there are certain builds with Barbarian, like Flay, that just delete it in a second, um, this is going to allow Rogue to really have that, like, huge power spike because um, you can have two of these out, and you might be thinking, well, okay, so you have two of them out, it deals up to 30% damage, okay, you could deal 60% more damage. It's not actually the case. If you have something that can actually activate its damage like two different times uh or even uh ricochet off something or just does flat out aoe well the damage is going to be replicated and then maybe if it can be crowd controlled or you can like lucky hit off of the totem well you're going to get a huge massive bonus and if the totem can be affected by other things uh this could be absolutely crazy for potential but it's going to come down to how you can actually utilize this i don't know if the subterfuge skill uh like the totem is at a random location if it spawns on you on the enemy there's going to be a couple things to take into consideration but this is definitely one of the best things in the game all right so we have the sorcerer's uniques both of these were revealed but just to again have the video be complete here uh makes it so when you shoot out chain lining it uh, it'll kind of go to the enemy that'll go to you and then eventually does an explosion damage this number that they showed off was like lower than uh the Andarials, and it takes like 10 times for it to activate because it drains 6 mana and has to drain a total of 66. Uh, yeah, waiting for this to do 10 times to do less damage than uh, the Andarials, uh, it's a skip, honestly, for me, but it may have some other uses with just Chain Lightning being, you know, kind of buffed overall. They are buffing a couple Sorcerer's things, so maybe we can try it out. It might be one of the best new builds, but even though we look at, like, Frozen Worm, which is the best new build, you compare that to, like, a Flay or, or any um, other, like, top-tier build uh, in this season, I mean, it's just kind of not on the same level next up this is what i'm mostly excited about with the sorceress which is vox uh uh, Omnium, which is a new staff, and it's making it so when you cast a core skill, it fires two instances of Fire Bolt or Frost Bolt, uh, matching the elements of your last two non-core skill casts. These projectiles deal up to 90x increased damage, which is massive. Now, what I think is really interesting with this is you're casting a core skill, shoots out the other ones. Well, as far as I'm aware of, Diablo doesn't work like Path of Exile, where if you would cast an additional projectile, it does not cost the extra resource, right? So if we were to run this with one of the brand new things over here, well, unfortunately, you can't run this because, well, it's a staff and then the sword, so it wouldn't really work in that instance. Uh, but I'm just thinking of the ideas where if you can, like, min... Uh, mix and match certain things that'd be kind of cool but anyways that's it for the brand new uniques we went over all of them as well as all of the uh newer ones here with the league but let me know guys what do you think of any of these down below do you guys have any ideas churning in your head for me crown of lucian is going to be one of the things i will 1000 percent build around there is nothing in the game that for in the helmet category you can get 100x damage again well actually it's over that because it's five times, so you get a, if you roll it, good, obviously, yeah, you, you roll the thing good, you get 125x damage, goodbye Shaco for best in slot for a lot of builds, again, obviously, if you're playing basic builds, this doesn't apply, but it could still apply, because it's just, you gain 125x, is just, it, it's too hard to skip out on, anyways, let me know your thoughts down below, if you guys want to see the brand new legendary aspects, I'm going to cover that in a separate video, because there's a lot, man, anyways, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and uh, we'll be dropping that video very, very soon, Kappa, anyways, it's, it's so exciting, man. I'm excited about Crown.